Hey guys, welcome to ASA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to enable Secure Boot in Windows 10 and Windows 11 computer. Enabling Secure Boot in Windows 10 and Windows 11 is an important security feature that helps to protect your computer from malware and other security threats during the boot process. Secure Boot is a feature that ensures that only trusted software is loaded when the computer boots up. It uses digital signature to verify integrity of firmware, bootloader and operating system. This prevents malware and other malicious software from installing themselves during the boot process and helps to prevent unauthorized access to your computer. In addition, Secure Boot helps to protect against attacks that attempt to bypass or modify the Windows bootloader which can be used to load malware or other unauthorized software into the system. Enabling Secure Boot is a relatively simple process that can be done through your computer's BIOS or UEFI settings. However, enabling Secure Boot in Windows 10 is an important step in maintaining the security of your computer and should be considered as part of any comprehensive security plan. Now, let me show you how to enable the Secure Boot in Windows 10 and Windows 11 computer. Restart your computer and press the key to enter the UEFI firmware settings. This key can vary depending on your computer manufacturer but it's usually F2, F10 or delete. Here's a list of BIOS keys for various computer manufacturers. If your BIOS is password protected, enter your BIOS password to entering in PC's BIOS. Once you are in the BIOS or UEFI firmware settings, look for a section or menu level security or boot security or boot. The secure boot option is usually located in this section. Ok, as you can see here it is. And as you can see it was disabled by default. The exact steps for enabling Secure Boot may vary depending on your computer manufacturer but this option should be clearly labeled. Note: Some systems may require you to first disable Legacy Boot or Compatibility Support Module which is known as CSM before you can enable Secure Boot. Now use the arrow keys to select Secure Boot and press enter to open the options. Select enabled and press enter to confirm the change. Save the changes and exit from the BIOS or UEFI firmware settings. That's it. Now your computer will be reboot automatically. After rebooting, you can check if Secure Boot is now enabled. Note, method 2 is only applicable if your computer supports virtualization based security and has the necessary hardware requirements. It is recommended to check your computer specifications and consult your computer manufacturer's documentation before attempting this method. Press the Windows key plus R to open the run dialog box. Type gpedit.msc into the run dialog box and press enter to open the group policy editor. Navigate to Computer Configuration. Select Administrative Templates. Double click on Systems. Then double click on Device Guard. Double click the Turn on Virtualization Based Security Policy to open it. Select the Enabled option and click OK to save the changes. Now restart your computer and check if Secure Boot is enabled. Note, method 3 is only applicable if your computer supports UEFI firmware interface and if your windows must be installed in UEFI mode. So it is recommended to check your computer BIOS based support information if it supports UEFI firmware based before attempting this method. First right click on Windows Start, 
and then click on settings. Go to update and security settings. After that, go to recovery option. Under the advanced startup section, click on restart now. Keep patience, it will take you to Windows Advanced Startup Options menu. Once you have entered the Advanced Startup Options menu, click on Troubleshoot. Select Advanced Options and then click on UEFI Framework Settings. Click on Restart to access PCs BIOS or UEFI Framework Settings. Once you have entered in the UEFI Framework Settings, look for Security or Boot Security or Boot. Ok, once you found, use the arrow keys to select Secure Boot and press Enter to open the options. Select Enabled and press Enter to confirm the change. Now press F10 key or go to Exit tab to save the changes and exit from the UEFI Framework Settings. That's it, you have successfully enabled Secure Boot in your Windows 10 and Windows 11 computer. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Please like, comment and share. We need your support and don't forget to subscribe our channel ASA Technical. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.